Explain from IBM's point of view what what sort of rollout blockchain has in the advertising world. Yeah, no, it's it's very exciting for us. So um, I think this will be a big launch. We you know, we looked at kind of the issues facing the um, media buying supply chain. Uh, in the past, it was kind of a fairly simple process. It, you know, for many years, it was client, agency, publisher. There was one measurement service. Typically, it was Nielsen for television or MRI for print. And now with digital advertising, as you well know, there's a, a numerous uh, middlemen and uh, multiple ad tech players in between. So, you know, blockchain was built exactly for that kind of... Um, kind of friction in a supply chain. Uh, so what we've done, uh, working with Unilever, is to build a blockchain for media, uh, whereby we are going to run it in multiple phases. The first phase being really dealing with the pure reconciliation part of it. So one of the things that happens when you have so many middlemen is discrepancies become rampant, right? Because you have all these uh, middle players and reconciling buys becomes difficult because there's multiple different companies that have different measurement numbers. So, you know, you're ad server will have one number, your measurement company will have another number, your verification and your uh, viewability companies will have different numbers. And so you typically can't um, reconcile that till the end of a flight and by then it's a mess. So you've got people working, you know, numerous people working full time at companies dealing with those kinds of discrepancies. Um, what blockchain does is allow you a single unified view of how that media buy occurs and there's one number it reconciles on the day and will enable incredible amounts of um, kind of transparency and uh, kind of a clean system across the supply chain so that it'll take away a lot of those discrepancies. So that's phase one. There's multiple phases that we're looking at, I mean one of which is to ultimately put the payment system directly in the blockchain so that you know the whole thing will be a seamless buy. Um, the next, uh, one of the next phases will be around RTB um, so that you really kind of look through um, you know, the, the whole system using the speed of real-time bidding. Um, we're also going to be looking at um, kind of the, uh, the abilities that uh, first-party data, uh, the blockchain will enable, so that you can get highly targeted with, you know, identity and first-party data with encrypted data so that, you know, each member of a blockchain has the appropriate key um, for the data that they can see. But the real advantage for the system is that um, you'll get laser targeting like we, uh, you know, aren't uh, able to do today. Um, and then ultimately, you know, television, OTT, and bringing that all together um, and really putting the whole media by through blockchain. So how do you see the rollout over the next 12 months? What will we be seeing, do you think? Well, I think the rollout will be uh, the next uh, few months we'll run the blockchain on this media buy. We'll get the results, we'll see how it does, and then we'll move on to some of these phases that I just discussed. So the relationship is directly with um, uh, Unilever and IBM. Uh, all of the players in a typical media buy are part of the, um, part of the equation. You know, yes, yeah, certainly, you know, Monshare is their media buying agency. We have a company called Fusion 7, which is really um, kind of a, uh, almost uh, think about them as the way you would an app on top of an operating system that really focuses specifically on on blockchain and reconciliation uh, approaches. So, and then all the typical players that you would see in the middle and publishers so far are part of the program. Keith's speech was really about trust. It was about um, trust in a number of different areas. I mean, everything from, you know, broad kind of uh, worldly issues, uh, news and all that. And, and really he said, you know, he had the slide that said, in brands we trust. Because um, the thing that will really uh, kind of improve and enable advertising to move forward is to get that trust back in the, in the supply chain and system. And that's what blockchain does. And that's the thing that's really exciting about it. The trust and transparency piece will kind of bring it all together in a way that, um, you know, we've needed for some time. And this is a great solution. Um, the business model really is that um, Unilever in this case is, is building a private blockchain, um, you know, as a MVP. Uh, we're going to look to um, solve some issues that they, you know, that he had mentioned on stage and that they've been talking about for quite some time. Assuming all those all goes well in each of those phases, then uh, we'll roll it out to multiple publishers and potentially, you know, the way blockchain works is there's typically several different types of business models. There's a founder-led model where one company is kind of an anchor client and brings everybody on board and, and pays for the system. There's a consortium model where multiple companies are involved still in a private blockchain but you know the payment happens through different companies and then there's a pure public blockchain where it's uh, literally just um, 
you know, nobody owns it. It's just the rails underneath the whole media buying system, and then the, the teams that are, are want to come, um, you know, come join it, and, and that's the way it runs. So, you know, we'll think about what the right business model is. In this case, for Unilever and broadly, is for the industry.